Kevin Optic, and I'm here with a game called In Between a Clock and a Hard Place. Uh, yeah, I know, you can see a little bit of my code back there. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on something. Um, actually, this is not for the uh, other project. I have the final build pretty much done. I'm going to be doing a director's cut of it here pretty soon. But um, uh, this is for something different. This is for a little bit of a other different projects, so I guess you got a minor teaser of it. So anyway, I'm just going to fire this game up, huh? Ah! Okay. Let's see. In between a clock and a hard place. Let's get this loading. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. Huh. The music's actually pretty good, though. Gotta turn that up. There we go. So, a magical artifact of great power has gone missing. A young hero sets off to find it. Created in 48 hours for the Game Maker Toolkit Jam 2020. Out of control. Of course. I didn't put that down on my <laughs> project. I actually kind of regret that. I wished I did. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so press enter to start. Let's go. Use A and D to move. Gotcha. And W to jump. Oh, okay. Hello, what's this? Oh. Ah, it's been a while since the last self-proclaimed hero came through here. Let me guess, someone lost a little precious artifact? No one has returned from the search. No one has returned from the search? Enter. Why, yes. How do I know so much of this brave heroic quest? Shall I let, shall I let you connect the dots? I shall give you a moment. You hero types usually don't have much going on, on in your head. Oh, I wonder what this switch does. <laughs> oh, hello. An artifact letting the user control space and time. You really left it. Start the clock by moving. Okay, then. What's going on here? Uh oh. Whoa! Hey, ho! Oh! Pay attention to the rotation order. Oh! Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Okay, so basically, it's first going to turn this direction. I need to get over here. I need to pay attention to that. Okay, here we go. Got it! Level solved. Okay, so basically, it's going to be returning counterclockwise now. Okay, here we go. My, my, they don't teach patient at hero school, do they? I've been here for millennia all the time. I have all the time in the world. I'm not doing that in the voice. My, my, they don't teach patience in hero school. I've been here for millennia. Oh. Whoops, I might have died. I'll keep the hand off the clockwood. You see something a little bit new? My little plaything. I'm afraid it's just an ancient trickster spirit. I play games. I do not create chaos. Explain Jevil from, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Explain Jevil from Delta Room. <laughs> Whoops. Ouch. Okay, I, I asked for that one. <laughs> yeah, explain Jevil from Delta Room, huh? He was a fairly chaotic character. Oh, I'm running into a wall and the, it's making me stick. Is that a mechanic? Is that a mechanic or is that an unintentional bug? A good measure as a hero is what one does. A good measure of a hero is what one does when one has no control over the circumstances. Prove yourself, and I will give you the artifact back. If you don't, well, I'm sure I'm going to give you a nice tombstone. Whoa! Oh! I see what's going on here. Oh. Okay, so basically when it comes down to it, it's not tilting all the way, it's tilting most of the way. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, so that is a mechanic, huh? Okay, then, that's good to know. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I need to start focusing on, on the game. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Ow. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, jump, jump, okay, jump, jump. And I'm good at platformers! Okay, here we go. Ready for it to reset. There we go. Oh, no, no, I'm 
I'm good at platformers. I'm good at platformers. I swear. I'm good at platformers. Ah! I'm sticking to the wall. Ah! No! Come on. Seriously. I'm good at platformers. No, seriously, guys. I seriously am good at platformers. I mean, seriously. Sonic, Mario, rocked them both. Enjoyed the living daylights out of both of them. And when I'm in the mood, they're... <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I'm good at platformers, guys. No, I swear, I am really good at platformers. <laughs> okay? I am really good at platformers. <laughs> Man, am I just gonna be saying the same exact thing over and over and over again? Okay, come on. I mean, granted, the level design is actually pretty good in this game, but, uh... Okay, here we go. We're gonna switch it over, and we're just gonna... Wait for it to switch back. There we go. Gonna wait for it to switch over. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, good. I didn't trust myself with that one. Okay, there we go. See, I'm good at platformers. Plus R to restart the level. Let me guess. It's going to rotate this direction and then it's going to rotate back, isn't it? That was not the direction I intended. Okay, so I need to time this. Ready, set, go! Go, go, go! Dang. Okay, okay. So basically what I need to do is wait for the timer to get down. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come on, think this through in your head. Think this through in your head. Think this through in your head. Go oh, no, don't shoot! Stop! <laughs> ah, I ran off the cliff blindly. Okay. Come on, John. You're good, you're good at platformers. You're good at platformers. You know you're good at platformers. So come on. This shouldn't be a trial. This shouldn't be a challenge for you. This should be a breeze! Dang it, ill timed. I'm not good at timing myself. I'm good at platformers, but I'm not good at timing myself. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, turn. Okay, jump, jump. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe that's what that ledge is there for. Maybe I should have been using that the whole time. Okay, so my question is, how am I gonna get past this? Ow! Okay, yeah, the downward momentum is just not fast. The Turning speed down, going down is just not fast enough for that, is it? Okay then, wow. Well, okay, well, thank goodness I got enough lives to mess around with. I'm good at platformers, I swear by it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna let it rotate. Oh wait, I got an idea. Aha! I got you, game! <laughs> I got your number! <laughs> it's in my book! And first try! Yeah, that was my first try. No, quite literally. Take a look at that counter there. It's... Wait, I don't have a counter here, do I? Okay, so, I see it's your guiding spirit sitting around, sitting in another world. Those computers and mouse buttons. Why don't you tell them to try using them? What? Oh. Oh, let me guess, but this is one of those puzzle moments where you only have a limited amount so you can click, huh? No? Huh. I think if you were to just use it to limited clicks, then of course it would add a lot more of an interesting puzzle element here. I, I'm not... Okay, if you limited the number of clicks that you had with some of these things, um, I think that would create a bit more of a puzzle there for you as a... Well, oh, for the player. For the player. Sorry. Blech. I'm not very good at giving out recommendations, obviously. Blech. But, you know, I could definitely sense a puzzle potential here. Oh, wait, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah, I knew it was gonna do that. Aha! Got it! <laughs> that was easy. Seriously, were you challenging me? Are you considering challenging me? Oh, sheesh, this is easy too. Yeah. Oh shoot, 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 I'm not gonna make it in time, I'm not gonna make it in time, I'm not gonna make it in time. No! Stop! No! Don't let me shoot it! I don't know whether if I should be happy or upset that that worked out so well, but, uh, you know. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh. 
Oh, well, I can just finish off the level like this. And there we go, level finished. Very interesting. Very interesting. How strange, when someone else loses something, it's a magical artifact, isn't it? Okay then, so let's see, which direction are we gonna go in? I have a funny feeling I know where to do. Here, shoot, I wasn't fast enough. Ugh. Oh, wait, oh, that's clever. That's very clever. You got a way of getting back up. Okay, so, uh, up, up, up. actually, There we go. Okay. So, ah, shoot. I messed that up. I messed that up royally. Thank goodness I can just do this. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We need to get up to that door over there. We need to have the, this thing oriented that direction. So basically, when it comes down to it, I think I need to be down one more level. Ah, no, stop! Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I can still do this. 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 I can still do this! Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I can still do this. I can still do this. I can still do this. Yes, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I'm good at platformers. Don't judge me. Okay, here we go. The platforming king returns. Okay. Got it! Got it! See? I told you, I'm good at platformers. Okay, is this gonna kill me? Or... Oh, wait a second. Oh, I saw this inside the little title card that they had there. Okay, then. So, I just need to figure out how this physics engine works. Uh-oh. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! There we go again! The time is certainly passing quickly! <laughs> I know. Okay, so, oh, oh, I get the idea now, I get the idea, ha-ha, 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 Yurika! oh my, okay, yeah, you're really gonna put me to the test on this one, eh, hopefully it's going the direction I think it's going. just drop straight down from here. That's all I have to do. That is all I have to do. Like so. And voila! I'm out of the level. <laughs> whoa! Holy cow! What kind of... Whoa! What kind of crazy conundrum is this? Okay. Oh. 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 My. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay. We're, we're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna have to figure this out. So, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Starting to go backwards? Hmm. Okay, okay. Whoa! <laughs> gravity! Gravity? Who cares for gravity, eh? Okay, so I get the puzzle here. I get what we're supposed to do here. So basically, what I'm supposed to do
hurt in my brain. Hopefully there's no smoke coming out of my ears. This one has me stumped. This one has me stumped. I know, I don't think there's any way of cheesing this, though. Like, I'd probably cheese the last few levels, but eh, who cares? I'm a platforming master, and I got those levels on my first try, so, you know, nobody's paying attention. Nobody's gonna judge me harshly for, uh... But I think that's kind of a cool mechanic where the room, whole room is rotated, so... Out of curiosity, though, uh, did you use a pre-built engine, or did you code this engine yourself? I'm just wondering for the sake of, uh, me. Wait, can I... Aha! Aha! I broke you, game! Oh, no! 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 The game's now breaking me! <laughs> yes! There we go. It's a clock. I think I got to the end. Well played, I must say. I'm very surprised you survived. You get to live. This time. You returned your world to normal as promised. Here's your artifact. Until we meet again, hero. You win. Press escape to exit the game. Awesome! Okay, I gotta say, that game was actually pretty good. Um, very well structured, very well built. Like I said, did you use a pre-rendered, or did did you use the pre-built, or did you build the engine on your own? I have a hard time telling. I mean, there's some implementation here that it felt like you built the engine on your own, which actually I would say is not a bad thing. But honestly, when it comes down to it, actually, I think that game was actually fairly good and very solid. Probably could do with a few more levels. I mean... Most Game Jam games are like this, but uh, also to add on to that whole new level thing idea, like I said, there was that other idea that I talked about before where, um, you know that element where you click to remove stuff? I would limit that down to a certain number of clicks at a time. So basically that would mean that, um, uh, <clears throat> so basically that would mean that would put an extra layer of strategy and a whole other layer of strategy up on top of that game, which, I mean, will probably improve the overall puzzle elements of the game. So, you know, most people, you know, wouldn't try and cheese it as much as I did. But in other words, it's actually a fairly fun game, and I would highly recommend it. I had a blast. Please be sure to click down in the link down in the description. Um, that's where you can also find the, that game. Also, my game is down in the description. Also, I also have a quick little announcement to make. I have joined another Discord server. If you are a game jammer or an artist or whatever who participated inside that jam, this uh, Discord server was made especially for you. If not, if you're just a fan and you're looking for people to hang out with, you know what? I guess that would be fine too. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's more than willing to accept people on that Discord server as well. So please be sure to check out the, that new Discord server link down below. Also, be sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. This is Super Chocolate Milkshake, signing off.